Refuge in Prison, the other one. And I'm going, oh, wow, Teresa just sent us a... Anyhow. Welcome to the show, Trisha. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. No, thank you. We love having you guys on. You bring in such passion, and we have such a large audience of elder people. So It fits our demographics. It's just... Great. We're so glad to have you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. This right, is your you first time on the show. Life. This is last my, year. Yes, I joined Morris Life about a year ago, last March, so it would be one year. I am Vice President of Market Development, and what I'm responsible for is generating revenue, brand awareness across all our product lines. You're important. Yes. A little bit. Keeps the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, in addition to you know brand awareness, um, ensuring that all our product lines are integrated, that we're cross-selling, everything flows very smoothly within that continuum of care. Is there anything you don't do? Seriously, when it comes to, to elder, not to health. when it comes to elder law, elder law, <laughs> <laughs> elder care, we do have an elder law attorney. We do, <laughs> but we do a lot of different services. So I'm responsible. You know, 33 years ago, when the Jewish community came together and decided that they wanted to have a nursing home in West Palm Beach catered to this population, they started with 160 beds one nursing home today our campus is over 37 acres wow we have 160 which is amazing beds. we have the 160 bed nursing home beds we have a state-of-the-art rehabilitation center which is 120 beds we have home care private which provides for meal preparation light housekeeping companionship we have uh, skilled or medicare home care which provides for you know recovery from illnesses we have an aphasia center which is one of few in south florida which provides for speech therapy, people having you know post uh, stroke disorders, um, helping them being able to regain communication skills, getting back into the community. We have um, our memory care, which is slated to open in May for 52 um, assisted living apartments. We have our tradition, which is running out at a waiting list right now. It's 144 apartments both independent and assisted living and we're also slated to begin construction on a new tower for those of you who are concerned about the wait list we yes. are taking reservations for the new tower currently and that's slated Good. to open so call them now <laughs> yes. get on the waiting list we have list. priority uh reservations. and you cover all the bases for everything for we all do. services we give do. everybody your phone number we are 561-471-5111 and you can also reach us, like Steve-O said, morselife.org. So where did you work prior to Morse Life? I worked for another senior care organization um, out of Fort Lauderdale. They manage 23 skilled nursing facilities in the state of Florida and Alabama. So as a regional with them, I traveled you know, between the two states, providing consultant services and marketing. See, Morse Life is smart. They stole her. That's exactly That's it. Happened. So what makes you go to this type of sector? Um, I find, well, it all started for me as a child, truly. Um, my grandmother moved in with us when I was eight years old, and my mom became the primary caregiver for her after my grandfather had passed away. And she was, you know, diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Mm. And I realized at a really early age what it was like, you know, caring for my grandma. She would ask things like, you know, where's, where's Pappy, you know? Where it's is overwhelming. He? Yeah, I had and, a grandfather I, with Alzheimer's as young, also. As a young child, I would say, Mom, doesn't grandma realize, you know, Pappy died? And the first time I told her that, my mom gave me this look, like, was the death there? And she was like, you can't tell her that. Every time you tell her, it's like she realized for the very first time right. that she's hearing this news. So at that young age, it was very impressionable. You know, I had grandma's friends coming over to play cards, mom involved in a lot of different things. It was a love for me at that point in time. I just couldn't possibly imagine doing something else. I find today that the healthcare field has so much, much tremendous diversity, growth, changing. It's a feel good and a very challenging job for me. Usually it was the daughter that was taking care of the parents. I don't know how that happened. Uh, and nowadays and all the women, they work. Most women work now. Yes. So, so they need additional help and home care and assisted living. Absolutely. So what got you to Morse Life? Well, I was recruited to Morse Life. Smart. And They're very smart. They <laughs> and I was, you know, I was doing a lot of traveling before, so it was nice to um, to come to an organization that was, 
you know, just in one county and close to my home. Yes, and they're located in Palm Beach. They are located in Palm Beach, just north of Okeechobee Boulevard on Haverhill. And when I first met with them, I had I had known a lot about Morris Life and, you know, their mission and the people. But when I first met with the team and I realized how much passion that this team have, I was so impressed by it. And that they really care about all their patients. They care about the people, yes. the residents, the community, the employees. And I'm really proud to say Morse Life was just honored as a top employer by the South Florida Business Journal this year. Wow. So I'm really excited. I feel honored That's to be amazing. a part. That's amazing. That truly is. Yeah, What's I, so great about Morse Life also is you guys give back to the community. It's do. not about just taking your money. We do. And that is so. The mission is so important. It is. And, and you can feel it. And I don't know if you guys have had an opportunity to come up to our campus, but you can feel it walking through the people make such a it's difference. It's beautiful. No, we saw pictures it's, of it. Yeah. It's magnificent. It's it really is. I mean, when you pull up, it's like, wow, I work here. I'm just, yes. That's exactly how I feel every day. I, I drive into work with a smile. I look at the campus. I look at the people and the things that we do and what we Isn't can do nice? for the community. Yeah. It's a great feeling. It really is. Now, Morris Life just changed their name. We did. They did. Yes. They're now the help Morris Life health yeah. system we most certainly are and why is that we do an annual strategic planning retreat where we take you know key employees or employees that we feel you know from line staff to managers that can make a difference so we get all these people together and we plan different initiatives like um, the program for all inclusive elderly care pace oh yeah we talked about that last month Pace, right pace was one of the initiatives that came out of our strategic planning retreat as well as this new independent living tower comes right. out of the strategic planning retreat. And we felt that it would be important for us to align our model, our healthcare model with our name. Everyone knows Morse Life, but it's Morse Life Health System. I mean, it is what we do. So we felt it would be more important to align our focus with the name. Tell us about some of your other expansion plans you've got going on. Well, we have been, how do I say this? We have been approached so many times in the South County area um, for the need. So we have, in addition to building the new tower, um, we are doing great services in the South County area. You know, Boynton, Delray, Boca Raton, all in the southern part of Palm Beach County. We're providing the home care private for meal prep preparation, concierge type services. We're doing the skilled home care for those patients or residents getting out of the hospital that need some sort of therapy or so forth after a illness or recovery from, from something or the other. We're doing rehab at home, so we can come to your home and provide speech therapy, occupational therapy, and um, that's why I said they cover all the bases. We they actually really had do. two people email saying it's not fair. We live in Broward, I but know. you but you do accept people from other counties, so it's not from any county, and as well as it's not just a Jewish facility. That's and correct. And people have that thought process that it is but it's not right for inpatient rehab if they want to come to our rehab center it would be fine we can accept from pretty much wherever right. we've taken patients from las vegas who went out there and was having a good time gambling and had unfortunately <laughs> to come back to us um and you know from different places but for home care we only do palm beach county so until we expand further south into broward county we wouldn't be able to visit anyone in their homes and that makes sense too. yeah unless they have you know because our licensing is Palm Beach County for now. Do you, I mean, do you realize, I mean, you guys have got the most incredible, I mean, your name is, when we tell they people Morse Life. the most incredible reputation. Yeah, your reputation is just so. Even in other states, when we mentioned Morse Life, they uh -huh. said, oh, we've heard of them. I know. Which is, that's huge. Yeah, we were approached today by a facility up in Pennsylvania to do a health fair uh, down here with them. Because right, they've, so you, you guys know, set the example. Yeah, they've done some research. They called around and they said, oh, well, you guys are definitely a leader. We'd like to partner with you and we come down. Isn't that nice? You know, we get a lot of New Yorkers that listen to the show because they can listen online. Mm -hmm. And they have parents down here. And it just it's so important. This is not an area that you just, well, should we use this person? I mean, we're, we have someone right here in studio that is the top of the top. More slides. That's why I said get your name on the waiting list for the new tower. Absolutely. If you, because it's going to go. Yeah, if you are interested in getting, we already have the floor plans. Uh, we have a lot of people that are have already given deposits and are ready to sign. You know, They're pushing us to get this thing going as fast as possible. So if you're interested, certainly give us a call. Ground? 
We're breaking ground in May. Okay. So it's called the Transition Tower. It is the tower. So tell us a little bit about that. The, it's the tower, the tradition of the Palm Beaches. So we have an existing physical plan. Right. And then we're building a 10-story um, tower that has 182 independent living apartments. It will be obviously on our campus in West Palm Beach, which is uh, on Havre Hill Road, just between Okeechobee and 45th Street. It's very luxurious, um, very high-end resort style living. I describe it as a cruise ship on, <laughs> on land because there is so much activities going on. It's, it's a lifestyle. Yes. And the nice thing about Morris Life is that it's like a progression. You can start out independent, go to assisted living, go to a nursing home facility. So you could just progress. I mean, as you get older, obviously your needs change. Absolutely. It is a, definitely a continuum of care. I've seen, you know, people who even start out independently at home uh, ended up, you know, having to come in to live at in independent living or even needing some more assistance or even not so much so thinking about it as a senior community, but it's just nicer to be around people of your own age your own culture, heritage, right, things like socialize. that. Exactly. So they move into us, then, you know, end up needing some rehabilitation or memory care. It's another initiative that came yes. out of our strategic planning where we wanted people to be able to age in place. So it was so important to add that product line because they want to remain with us. They don't want to go anywhere of else. Of course. You know, we have people that live in the tradition with us who've been there since we initiated 10 years ago. That's amazing. That's still, so they used to want to stay at home. They used to didn't want... Want, want to leave their home, and now that you have a facility like you have, and it's like, that's it's very cool. enticing. And I and I totally understand those who want to stay at home because for those people who are able to care for themselves are over the age of fifty five and meet the nursing home criteria, and are duly el eligible for Medicare and Medicaid. We offer the PACE program, which is the which program. Is for all inclusive care for the elderly. So I feel like there is something for everyone, no matter where you are and on the spectrum. If you need some sort of healthcare needs, Morris Life Health System can help you out. Do you have any type of companianship programs from the home? Because we're starting to hear a lot about companionship programs. We do, programs. and I am so proud of our private home care. I feel like we have the best of the best, and I say this because she truly is. I call her the matchmaker. So you see all these reality shows of matchmakers matching, you know, the guy and the girls and all these different dating systems. I feel like finding the, the perfect companion is as important as finding the person you're going to be Can married to. Can I tell to. you something? I agree because I had an uncle that went through a ton of people right. till he found his perfect match because these people spend so much time with you. Exactly. So I say, you know, I joke around. I'm like, you're the matchmaker because it's, it's a science. It's a talent. It's a skill. And she has this where she's able to find that person because it's someone who's going to be living with you, taking care of you. Exactly. You're going to be spending time with, you know, your medical needs as well as your social needs. So she is very good at finding you or anyone, the perfect person to be with them. What are some of your criteria hiring these people? Uh, a very uh, strict uh, interview process. That's the first thing I'm going to A stringent know. interview. <laughs> Absolutely. And background check. Background check. It is very important uh, to go through the stringent interview process, making sure that they have you know the customer service skills. They go through some special training with us. I can tell you from my my interview process was extremely stringent, and you know they did a national search. And it's the same thing with caregivers. We're an agency, not a registry. So there is certain background systems and checks that has to go into place because we want to ensure that these people that we're putting and we're putting our name behind that are going into someone's home are respectable, honest, good caregivers that would be able to give the kind of uncompromising care that we offer. So you don't have to worry campers. if you've got mom uh, and dad no, who's coming into all. the house. Not at all. And that you see so much of it. I see so much, you know, elder abuse, elder exploitation, financial, mental, otherwise. We just want to make sure that whoever we hire can represent the Morris Life Health System in the right way. Hey, we need to go to break. I was just going to say that. I love that. the show. It's like it goes by so fast. Let's go to break. and we come back, we are going to do more with Morris Life. Hope you're watching right now. You can just go to Morris Life's website. We'll be right back. Morse Life is a nationally recognized provider of elder care. 
and support services for seniors and their families in Palm Beach County. Located on the expansive Maryland and Stanley M. Katz Seniors Campus in West Palm Beach, Morse Life is dedicated to enhancing quality of life for older adults through a full range of services. Morse Life provides long-term care, state-of-the-art short-term rehabilitation, luxury independent and assisted living, memory care, and home health services. Morse Life is also the exclusive Palm Beach County affiliate for PACE, the national program of all-inclusive care for the elderly. Morse Life has been awarded the Governor's Gold Seal of Excellence and is a five-star nursing facility committed to continuous research and training that consistently delivers enlightened senior care. Morse Life also offers concierge care for clients seeking an enhanced level of private home care. For more information or a tour of the campus, please call 561 471 5111 or visit www.morselife.org. And we're back, and we're here with the Vice President of Market Development, Trish. So, we're going to talk about Alzheimer and dementia because now, with all the baby boomers and everything else, that's a big thing with Alzheimer. So, tell everybody about Morse Life and their care. As far as that's concerned. Well, as I mentioned before, you know, encouraging people to age in place, we felt that it was important to have that continuum of care to add the memory care component to our campus. So what we're doing and what we're slated to open in May, we are adding 52 memory care assisted living apartments and we're also adding 30 memory care advance Alzheimer's memory care beds Tell to us the what nursing that means. home. So while there are, um, for the assisted living, those who are suffering from you know some sort of dementia, Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's disease, something like that. And then for the 30 beds nursing home are for those who um, can't handle themselves, who cannot do any activities of daily living, who can't you know shower or bathe themselves or anything like that. They need constant they need care. Constant and security 24, is the biggest factor. 24 hour care. Yes. They would qualify for the nursing home section. And a lot of times uh, people may come into the assisted living and as they age, they decline, unfortunately, and then they'll need nursing home care. So we wanted to ensure that once they decline and they no longer qualify for assisted living, it's not like we're sending them someplace else. They would be able to transition in-house and move to a different floor with us. So once you're in one facility on the campus, you're eligible for all the other facilities to move to the next progression. The next level of care. Yes. So from rehab to long-term care, long-term care into either memory care, or long-term care, assisted living, or nursing home. So we have that component. And it's on, for the memory care, it's one building for the 52 assisted living apartments and the 30 bed. It is very secured. Um, there's gardens, Serenity Gardens, that's gonna be there. We have a labyrinth feather, fountains. Um, there is a, a simulated garage with a car parked in it because a lot of times when you get Alzheimer's, one of the first things that people have a hard time giving up is the car keys. They don't want to give up the driving. So you have an actual car <laughs> there. That's interesting. Actual, yeah, we'll have an actual car. So, you know, if you want to go driving, you can. Nobody promises that the car is going to work. So the car doesn't was, move, it's that stationary. Is, that's <laughs> correct. It's a non-functioning car, but it will be there. So that way they have that ability to go outside walk around, have your car keys, you know, check out the mechanics. I don't know how it all is going to come right. together, but that's that's going to be there as well. Now, so once again, I want to ask a question. So <laughs> why is that the car factor? What, why is that a big thing? Uh, research has shown that a lot of times, you know, you, they forget a lot of things. They forget, you know, their short-term, long-term memory. You get your driver's Sounds license. Like me. You, I get, know. <laughs> you get your driver's license at a very early age, you know, 15, 17, somewhere around there. And that's one of the things. It's your independence. It's one of the things that go last. So they, a lot of times they'll ask, you know, where's my car? So you just give them the keys, they go yeah. out to the car and they feel like that's that is correct. Another, their car. Yeah, wow. another important component for us that we're adding to our memory care is music and memory. We had the, mu the movie, and I don't know if either one of you or if our audience has had a chance to see it, the movie Alive Inside, where uh, social no. worker Dan Cohen spent three years doing research about music and how it affects the mind and how it embraces and encourages people to take them back into different places. So Dan Cohen with um, neurologist Dr. Oliver Sacks did this documentary and we showed it at our health and wellness symposium earlier this year. There was not a dry eye in the wow. audience. It was extremely moving. So we have embraced music and memory on campus and we will also be implementing that with our new memory care feature as well. 
They just do everything. You, you've got a conference coming up on aging with the White House. That doesn't is happen very often. I know. Just once That's in every amazing. 10 years. What would you like to see come out of this conference? Well, there are so many good things that are happening at this conference this year. You know, healthy aging, long-term care, the Elder Justice Act. I'm a lawyer. That's my background as well. And um, for me, it's so near and dear to my heart to see more things coming out from the Elder Justice Act. We talked about earlier in the show, um, you know, making sure that our elders aren't financially exploited, elder abuse. I would like to see us becoming, you know, more regulations coming out of that so people are more educated on choices to make, what are their rights, who to Especially down here. Yes. Wow, there's so many things that go, you hear scary stories how people were just... I mean, Taking advantage yes. of yeah, out and of their money, day life in savings. And day out, yes. yes, you work so hard. You trust in people to come into your home, and this is you know when you're so vulnerable and exactly. you need care and you need that strength. That's the last thing you want to deal with. So that is most important to me. You know, again, I, I had mentioned earlier in the show when my grandmother came to live with us. One of the things that occurred, you know, with her prior was, you know, she had a niece, a relative, not even a stranger. Who took her to the bank and transferred some no. assets mm -hmm. wow and you would think that that would be a family member so it, it's just extremely it's extremely really sad it, sad disheartening so for me it's important to see some of the regulations so us as a na nation can you know, honor our seniors and take good care of them Gosh, amazing give everybody your phone number again it's 561-471-5111 there's a program with survivors and liberators portraits by, is it Wilma Vulcan Siegel? Yes, Dr. Siegel. And the physician and an artist. Yes, and it's amazing. So what we have coming up on campus is Dr. Siegel has done some portraits on Holocaust survivors and liberators. So she has noticed, you know, on the 60th anniversary, she had noticed that, we, you know, we were losing these survivors, their stories and the details about all the things that occurred to them. And um, what one of the things she did for the 70, 70th anniversary was she did all these portraits and we have them displayed at the tradition of the Palm Beaches. There are 36 portraits in all, 25 survivors wow. and 11 of their children. And this is gonna be on display for all of March. So if you are interested in coming to the campus to take a tour, seeing this artwork, which is their huge pieces. They're absolutely beautiful. So people don't forget. Absolutely. Because that's important. It's really important to Because a to lot of the Holocaust museums are even closing down now. I mean, we're losing all that. So that is so, so it's there the whole month of March. It's, yeah, we're, we're on display the entire month of March. So if you want to schedule an appointment, you could call us at 561-471-5111. And we'll be more than happy to schedule a private viewing. Um, so is you there can, a fee for that? No fee. Free. It's open to the public, so Wonderful. just yeah, give us a call. We'd love to share it with you. They're gorgeous pieces of art. Dr. Siegel is extremely talented physician and artist. Wow. wow. Yeah. What um, other? What else do you have coming up for March? Well, we have um, Purim. Okay. Yes. So we are doing you know our high holidays meals on wheels. We do over fifty thousand meals per year for our meals on wheels. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have that going on as well. So we do, you know, the high holidays. We do Purim is coming up next month in the month of March. So we have that going on as well on campus. And Passover. Yeah, coming Passover up. is yes, coming up. That's true. What do you do for Passover? We do um, the high holidays. We they do, do meals on wheels. Yes, uh, to the home, uh, to those who are less fortunate and can't make it out someplace. We do that for them. It's a huge volunteer drive. We are so thankful for our volunteers because they make this happen. We deliver a lot of meals on that day. It's extremely busy mitzvah days, so. I'm sure it is. Yeah, so if there are volunteers that are willing to help us out, we'd appreciate you as well. You have to deliver matzah to everybody. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> if people would like to volunteer, what number should they call? 561-471-5111. Just ask for volunteers and we can get you and scheduled. And it's a great cause. It really is. It really is. Because there's so many seniors that just can't get out to the stores. It's so true. this provides a huge service for them. It is true. I want to play Find the Matzo. Okay, you'll, so you'll play that. I want to You're volunteer. getting a little old for that. You get no money. <laughs> it's guilt. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs> so you have to teach you everything. You teach me nothing. <laughs> um, in close, God, this show always goes by it so does. fast with wow. Morse Life. Uh, just give everybody just why they should contact you. 
we know all the good things you're doing, but just like there's people listening right now that are right there kind of on the Trying edge. Trying to make a decision. Well, we are a center of excellence. We provide uncompromising care, excellent care. We service from our heart. It is what we're known best for. Obvious. Be- besides everything else, if you have questions or you're not sure about anything at all, just give us a call. You've got a question, we've got an answer. If we don't have an answer, we'll find one for you. So you can look us up on the web, contact us through our page, morselife.org, or definitely give us a call at 561 471 5111. Perfect. You, you can actually go back and watch today's show over. We have a lot of people that miss the show that will go back to your website and review the show again. It's just, it's so great that you guys give back so much. It is just, it's, it's right. like a but blessing. But if you have questions, you absolutely could call them absolutely. at any time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Does, does the phone go down at a certain time? Is there a certain time? Not at all. You got 24-7? Yes, please call. Yes. 24-7, and if you're listening to us right now in New York and you have family here, listen, you've got to see this campus. Go to the website. You can Absolutely. Kind of there's see. a virtual tour. Exactly. You can check us Which out. Which is magnificent. There's it really a, is. There's a lot of information about all our different services, and if you're not sure of where to go and you want to call and ask for Trisha, you most certainly can. Nice. And I would be able to help you and route you to the appropriate party. Remember so how please. much mom and dad did for you growing up? <laughs> now this is your chance to give back because this is just a phenomenal facility. We're blessed to have them as part Absolutely. of the show every month. Thank you for coming Thanks on so today. Thank you so on, much. Trish. You guys are a Trish Hughes, the VP of marketing the big the, yeah, <laughs> the VP of marketing mockers, right? <laughs> hey, we're going to go to break and we come back. We've got actually more with Morris Life. We're going to be talking about the PACE program. Yes. We'll be right back. Morse Life is a nationally recognized provider of elder care and support services for seniors and their families in Palm Beach County. Located on the expansive Maryland and Stanley M. Katz Seniors Campus in West Palm Beach, Morse Life is dedicated to enhancing quality of life for older adults through a full range of services. Morse Life provides long-term care, state-of-the-art short-term rehabilitation, luxury independent and assisted living, memory care, and home health services. Morse Life is also the exclusive Palm Beach County affiliate for PACE, the national program of all-inclusive care for the elderly. Morse Life has been awarded the Governor's Gold Seal of Excellence and is a five-star nursing facility committed to continuous research and training that consistently delivers enlightened senior care. Morse Life also offers concierge care for clients seeking an enhanced level of private home care. For more information or a tour of the campus, please call 561 571-5111 or visit www.morselife.org. 